Hello, wise and ears of the world, and welcome to another episode of Naruto Cross Naruto Ninja Tribes here on Images of Gaming with me, Natus, representing Junjuriki Tribe on server 13. As you see with my schedule that I put up today, uh, that I will start putting up Naruto Cross Naruto episodes every Saturday. And, of course, you know the schedule. If you look at it, you'll see when I'm going to be posting videos for each specific game. And when I'm going to be doing my live streams. And what I'm going to be doing the live streams on currently. But before I start the video, I wanted to show this. came up on the 6th. I got this posted up. Uh, it says, we have important information about the compatibility with iOS 14.2 and iPad OS 14.2 released on Thursday, November 5th. There's a possibility that some users may experience issues with the game. After updating it, we are currently investigating the following issue and our expected error occurs and the game returns to the title screen. It's always been doing that with everything, pretty much. So, uh, <laughs> We are investigating to ensure that players have a smooth experience when using it on those devices. However, it may take some time to identify and fix any issues. We will keep you informed about the progress and compatibility. We apologize. Hopefully that means once they fix it, we'll get some Shino coins. But without further ado, let's get to the video. Sun is about to go down. So what you doing tonight? It's everything I can't think of. So I'm just gonna make a short video today. I just wanted to show you a Rojimaru shark, which pops up randomly when you're doing quests. And I want to decide, decide whether it's worth it or not. So you'll always get Kabuto frags up here uh, for 100,000. If you're trying to get him up, you can use that to get him up. It's 100,000 Rio. It's only one frag, so it's not that big of a deal. You get SR frags all the time. If you really want to, you can just throw them into Kabuto and not have to worry about that. You have the SR frags here for three for 600. I don't think that's worth the Shino coins because you can get three SRs per day regularly from just push and skip on stuff. And uh, so that, that part's not worth it, but this can also be uh, five ultra rare fragments for 1,500 Shinobi coins. Now, if you think about it, a I think that's worth it because a summon costs a ten times summon costs two thousand five hundred, and when you get a ultra rare character, it gives you what twenty frags. Yeah, it gives you twenty frags. So uh, if you try to get twenty frags out of the ultra rares here, the I have 10, 15, 20, that's four times. So 3,000, that'd be 6,000 Shino coins, which is two multi summons, two and, uh, two and two thirds multi summons, right? Because two multi summons is 5,000, then another one would be 2,500. And you only need another thousand, so it'd be like two and one third multi summons uh, to get enough ultra rare frags to equal summoning an ultra rare once. If you're at the part of the game where you have most of the SRs, I have all of them, so if you have most of the SRs, uh, all of the rares, you'll get those pretty quickly. And really all you're looking for is to power up your ultra rares and I mean you want to get if you want to get the new ultra rares summon go ahead but if you're really just trying to power up the ultra rares you already have so that the ones you have are good and then after you've powered them up to like five or six stars then start worrying about getting the all the ultra rares this would be a good way to do it because you'll be getting the amount of ultra rares for summoning an ultra rare in the amount of two and one third summon multi summons and where originally you'll most likely unless you're like the luckiest person in the world uh, take it'll take at least 10 
like eight to ten multi summons to get one ultra rare. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating, but that's how how it much it at least takes me usually minimum of like ten multi summons to get a ultra rare summoning wise, unless you're on the guaranteed summon banner where it's after three multis you get a UR. But so I usually. I think that as far as that's concerned, getting the Ultra Rare Fragments there is actually a suitable option. Uh, the SR ones, nah, don't worry about those. But the UR ones, if you want to start powering up your current URs, because you can't use them on to get new ones, which I feel like they should add a, a thing into the game since you have it on the list, that you can use Ultra Rare Frags or SR Frags to put into obtaining a new character because think about it this way if you do that you'll only be it's not that big of a deal it's you'd be getting the character but you'd only be obtaining a one star ultra rare character and then of course people are still gonna be throwing out uh, money to try and get the character four star <clears throat> but at least for people who are collectors like me, who like to collect things in games like I do, at least you'll be able to get the ultra rare. Because if you're unlucky like me, this is the only thing I hate about the only part about gotcha games that I'm bad at is the luck base. Uh, where ever since Kieran Sasuke came out, you have not been able to get a Q an ultra rare character on banner. Not just the ultra rare that's on the banner but a ultra rare on the banners for the new ultra rares at all any ultra rare at all have not been able to get one since Kira and Sasuke came out uh, pretty much once they made it so that if you got the ultra rare you could get the frags from the events for that ultra rare I have not been able to get even an ultra rare not just the one that's in the banner that you get the frags for but in ultra rare in general from those banners and i've done like on each of those banners i've done like thirty thousand or more shino coins worth of summons so most of the time except for the last banner which i put a post video for which i did eleven thousand seven hundred shino coins for and i still didn't get the banner i just didn't get a ur in general <laughs> but anyways that's another that's another matter in general, getting the UR fraction here is a suitable choice to do. I feel like that is worth it. The blocks, do not buy, do not get those. You can get those from the marketplace. Uh, the ones that he'll have here, they'll have in the marketplace, like see? They'll have them here for uh, Rio, which is a lot better to just get 40 than getting 40 for 640 Shino coins and 320 sh where and you can just give to 640,000 and you get earlier in the game you might not buy these anyways because really you're just gonna buy these for the ones that you can't get from the promotional boxes so by the time you're able to get these you'll be getting millions of Rio a day so um, that, those are useless. That's useless. SR is useless. Ultra rare frag thing is the one thing so far that's okay. Now the intermediate EXP scrolls and elite EXP scrolls are always there. This one sometimes says Shino coins instead, but when it says 150,000 Rio, I get it. That's worth it. And the 50,000 Rio one, worth it. Because you want to get your um, talismans and scrolls. Uh, level up and this is a quick way to do it uh, then you got the speed scrolls this one's the Rio speed scrolls it can be SR UR I always get those the SR purple and UR purple speed scrolls are totally worth the Rio in my opinion uh, however the Shino coin ones I don't really get um, except unless it's uh, ultra rare and here's the thing if you're gonna get the ultra you get choose and decide what you're doing for maybe that month or whatever but depending on when I'm trying to get an ultra rare star level up I'll get this and when I'm okay with my ultra rare star levels but I want to 
or my speed is lacking, I'll go for the ultra rare speed scrolls for the ultra rares that I'm actually using, because other because it'll be uh, it gives you three for what 600 I think, or 650 or something like that. But it's worth it to me because ultra rare speed scrolls are really really hard to get. The only other way to really get them is from uh, the blessing levels, uh, maybe some events sometimes, and then whenever this pops up as a 200,000 real cost you are. And you only get one there where you'll get three off of the Shino coins. So if you're trying to get your ultra rare speed up quickly, I'd say that's good. So that's a good one, the SR one, um, not really, don't even go for that because this one will always either be SR or UR and then you can always get SR purple scrolls from the 10 times summons. And then we got their promotion elixirs. I never buy these. These aren't worth it. 500 Shino coins. When you can just, when you're in an arena, uh, is it alliance? If you're in your alliance, you can just get, you can just get the promotion elixirs for alliance things. Cause really the only thing in alliance that matters in my opinion is this and this. You can just use SR frags for that. And you'll get his rare frags just by this, just through summons. So <laughs> regular summons. But the, really the only thing that matters here is uh, this and this, in my opinion. And most mostly this. And you can just use your alliance coins to get the promotion elixirs. So overall, um, about half the store is useful, half the store isn't useful. But that's my opinion on the Orochimaru shot. If you guys think differently, if you guys think this was helpful to you in deciding on whether or not you want to get stuff in the Orochimaru shot, you're welcome, good for you. Uh, don't forget to hit this like button and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you wanna join my Alliance's Discord, even if you're not in our Alliance, you can ask us for opinions. Uh, team setup, how you should set up your teams, this and that. Uh, the My Alliance's uh, Discord channel gets uh, Naruto Cross Naruto episodes a day ahead of time. Uh, ahead of everybody if you want to see it ahead of time and of course keep gaming everybody and I'll see you latest something that is I feel that something that is I feel that something that is stopping me now oh